least one of you guys got dressed for the occasion. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are we doing? Good. Good. Hey Ben, welcome to Brooklyn. Um, can you walk us through these first couple of days, your excitement about the trade and um, getting started here in Brooklyn? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I didn't sleep much the, the first few days, but you know, overall it's been a great experience so far. The organization has welcomed me like their own. Super excited to get out there eventually and uh, play. Incredible team, incredible talent. So you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to what's to come. Next world. The Nets are just going through it right now. It's hard to expect great things when you see just how many key pieces they are without. That's the reality. It's not an excuse. That's the reality right now for this group. Continue to go back to the drawing board and just work at the ways you can improve with the group you have and hope for health to continue to come back and get some of those pieces. Well, a lot's being thrown at us right now, guys. I know it's tough. What we ask you to do, stay together, play hard, and try to get better. You guys have done that. All right? So I know you're disappointed. I know it hurts. You guys are fighting your ass off and you're staying together. And that's the main thing right now, OK? We're proud of you for that. When we get through this period, we'll look back and say we got better during this period. Now, it doesn't feel like it, but we are, okay? Keep your heads up. Let's go home. Let's get rest tomorrow. See your people. Recharge. We'll get back at it on Tuesday, all right? Come on. Heads up. Bring it in. But these opportunities can be great for us. You know, really face adversity, find solutions. I love this shit. <laughs> that's, that's what I have to do many, many times to have a career, let alone to make it. So I think for our group, this is an opportunity to grow our resolve. We knew headed into the season that there would be a lot of talks around in this team when they faced adversity. You know, the noise would get greater and greater and greater, and it's reaching a fever pitch as we inch closer and closer to the trade deadline. In less than 48 hours, the trade deadline is coming. There is a level of anxiety and anticipation for any team. And once you pass a trade deadline, knowing that this is who you're rocking with for the rest of the season, it makes a big difference from the coaching staff to the players and just the continuity and the chemistry of a group. You know, you just got to deal with it like a professional athlete, like any other thing. So it, it makes things interesting, but um, even more so in, in importance to, you know, keep the group tight. The outside noise is not with us, you know? They're not in this locker room. They didn't run no suicides with you, you know? They didn't do anything like that, so. This business is a business, and we all understand that, so. I say we go out and play for one another and let the upper management shine them handle that. We are just hours away from the trade deadline. Both Brooklyn and Philadelphia are engaged today. I think there's a place for these two teams to meet on a deal. It's a question, ultimately, of whether they get there. And so we've got a couple hours to see whether they can pull it off. Coffee down. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. We have a trade coming in right now from our Adrian Wojnarowski. The Brooklyn Nets are trading James Harden to Philadelphia for Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, Ooh. and two first-round picks, sources tell ESPN. The blockbuster is done. Ben Simmons is going to be a net. Uh, it's been a wild, wild 24 hours so far, man, just... Excited about it, because she have a good team, you know what I'm saying? So came in this morning, went to New York, did all my physicals, and just touched down in Miami. You know, definitely excited to start a new chapter here in Brooklyn. You know, go for, go for a ring. I mean, that's why we're here. That's why they brought us here to, you know, help bring this team to a championship. And uh, excited to join forces with Kevin Durant, uh, play with one of my closer friends, Kyrie Irving, Bruce Brown. And, 
you know, Blake Griffin, who I've played with in Detroit as well, too. So uh, just excited to, you know, see everything come together. I love the pieces that we got. I think we got better. We're excited to incorporate these new guys into our group. I think they fill needs for us. And, uh, you know, it should be an exciting time for us to reset and to rebuild and to, to hopefully put together a, a really competitive and terrific team in a short period of time here. It was a fun feeling just to be there. The energy was great. Everybody was pulling in the same direction. Didn't get to win in Miami, but a lot of guys are excited about the rest of the year and what we can do second half of the season and then into the playoffs. And we know we can win some games with the guys we have out, but when those guys come back into the lineup, there's so much more to be excited about. It would be a tough team. All right, here we go. Quick cleanup of uh, Miami, and then we're on to the Kings. So we talked about defensive transition going into the game, showing support for the first action. This trade absolutely made the Brooklyn Nets better, and it is very, very exciting. Brooklyn has got to be ecstatic. I think this team can challenge anyone in the East. Ben Simmons could provide something for them that they specifically need. One of the best defensive perimeter players in the NBA, a playmaker to create easy shots, not only for the stars, but for role players. He absolutely brings value in a way that is needed with that team. He's going to get a chance to play with Kevin Durant. He played with a great player in Philadelphia. He's never played with a guy like Kevin Durant. No secret, you know, he's he's an elite NBA basketball player. We've we've had our eyes on him for quite some time. Uh, truth be told, you know, his versatility stands out. Just what he can do on the court. Hearing from you know how coach wants to play, wants to play fast, move the ball, and plays the team. Um, you know that's how I was raised on the game. It's not a one-man game, so. Uh, when we're out there, you know, we all got to have each other's backs and uh, play as a team. I think he can be dynamic for us in a lot of ways. I think he fits our group really well, and I think it's really exciting to take on such a talented player who is ready to, to kind of enter the second stage of his career, and hopefully we can help him take a jump. I've got his back. I've always had his back, and now I have the opportunity to um, be with him. So I'm excited for this, um, and I know he is as well. So for us to come together, I think it's going to be great for, for both of us. My teammates embraced me as soon as I got here. It's a blessing to be you know, in an organization like this, and you know, I'm just looking forward to getting back on the floor and, and building something great here. And not only the addition of Ben, but the addition of, of Andre and Seth, they all fill some needs. Andre is, uh, you know, such a natural rebounder and, and uh, deterrent in the paint defensively. Dre does so many things well. I've enjoyed playing with him all year, so when I heard he was coming over to Brooklyn with me, it was just another thing to be excited about. Seth is a quiet assassin. You know, he doesn't talk much. He just uh, he plays basketball. The elite shooter. He's crafty and, he, and he's incredibly efficient. I'm excited about the opportunity. They need what I do. The management, the coaching staff is giving me great confidence coming in and, and a lot of support. You look across the board there and what we already have, um, and I think it's it's very complimentary. And I think, you know, not only myself, but others are, are very excited to be able to, you know, continue to figure this thing out and move in the right direction. It's exciting to, to get these guys out there on the floor with their new teammates and uh, start the process of finding cohesion and understanding and what we're trying to do. So it's been great to have them for a few days now. Um, I think everyone's excited and hopefully they can get comfortable quickly, but we, uh, we need to go through this and um, take the necessary steps so that they get a good understanding of what we, what we try to do, how we try to play and, uh, and how they can fit with their teammates. Curry across, the pull up, up, bottom. Seth Curry, his first points as a net. So smooth. Extra feed. Holmes deep, nine, by Drummond. The juice of this group is, yep. look, there's a different vibe. And maybe the Nets start to turn the corner here with some new faces. Electric. Electric, it was a good game for us, man. Much needed win. Got off that slide. It feels good. It feels good. Hello, Brooklyn. 
Lining up from three. Oh, yeah, Seth Curry. He's got the clutch, Gene. Thomas on the Aldridge screen. The pull-up. Yes, sir! I don't know if you can hear the fans. Your television said chance of Brooklyn. Thomas, pull-up. Knocks it down! 14-0 run! Four seconds. Thomas, rookie on rookie. The pull-up for three! Oh, my goodness! Are you kidding me? Unbelievable comeback for Brooklyn. You got to give so much credit to this group as a whole for their resiliency, staying with it, and continue some of this good energy as they're building with this new group, new faces, and new team heading into the All-Star break. The locker room is just, a great vibe in there right now. The energy's been great since day one. A lot of optimism with the new additions. And we're going to be a tough, tough team down the stretch when everybody gets healthy and we kind of get some cohesiveness. So. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Any time you have to go through the the roller coaster ride of an NBA season and what we've you know embarked on four months ago, you know it's got its ups and downs. But I just left the gym. It was our first practice back after All Star. And you could feel, you could feel an exuberance. You could feel a different vibe. Um, guys are hungry to get back after it. You know, it's tough when you know, you've had four or five days off, and there's some new siblings in town, and guys want to you know, rekindle relationships and so forth. So, over the course of these next 23 games, you know, we need to be building continuity, and chemistry, both on and off the court. It was an up and down first half of the season for us, but. I think everybody now is kind of settled in on what they need to do. As we get more and more bodies back, we start to figure out our roles and then just keep rolling on from there. Everything is a process and we, uh, you know, we're looking forward to going through it. You know, obviously we're on a time crunch a little bit and getting everyone back healthy, gaining some cohesion and building a team that can flow and play at both ends of the floor. But uh, we're not taking our foot off the gas. We want to try to build and reach for the stars and try to have a sense of urgency with this new addition. We all came here to win a championship this year. And for us to truly believe that and understand that is where I think we're at. And it will take everyone in the locker room, all the coaches, all the staff, everyone in this organization to be able to buy into what we're trying to do here, to be able to get this thing done this year. I think we're in a very hungry, hungry place right now. The locker room is as strong as it's ever been this season. We feed off each other's energy. You can see it on the court. But the key here is, is understanding the, the end goal and what it's gonna to take to be able to get there and it's gonna take all of us, every single person in this organization. And that's the belief. That's the belief that I know is, is there and we just gotta tap into it every single day from the time we come back from all star break. Hey, you guys were rewarded for all the work you put in recently, all right? We've had some tough, tough weeks recently. You guys stay focused, you stayed together, you kept working. Tonight was the benefit of that. Come on in, here we go. Hey, we got three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.